What's up everyone? Aaron here, and a new year is upon us. So with the calendar changing over, perhaps it's time for a new leader, a new prime, a better prime. I'm just kidding. Nova Prime is a real bastard, but this is a really cool figure. And if you're a nerd like me about scientific stuff, you probably know some Latin, and you know that Nova comes from the Latin Novus, which means new. So what better way to kick off the new year here at the Pocket Buy Collective than taking a look at this guy? This is Iron Factory's IFEX14L Steel Lucifer. So he comes with a ton of accessories. Pretty much all of them are on him right now, but... We'll start out by taking a look at what he comes with and the box real quick. So here's the box real quick. It's what you would expect from Iron Factory. Uh, I got a cool little silhouette of him looking ominous behind the product shot there. Otherwise, pretty much exactly what you would expect from their packaging. So good stuff. Instructions, as always, if you need them. Now before I look at all the other accessories... I think the easiest way to do that is to put them on him. <laughs> so we'll take a quick look at the core bot that is Nova here real quick. And as you probably know, this is just a recolor of their Ultimate Commander Optimus Prime figure. Uh, with some very minor retooling, I know that these pieces and this piece are different than they are on the Optimus Prime. Otherwise, exactly the same figure, just colored differently. But lots of uh, gunmetal gray metallic paint that they like to use. He's decked out in a lot of that. Lots of yellow accents, some blue accents. Uh, silver on his face. So, looks pretty good. His eyes are kind of dead looking, which I think is appropriate <laughs> for Nova Prime. No spoilers. So, at least in this mode they are a little more vibrant in his beefed up mode. But, as far as uh, articulation goes, his head's on a ball joint, so you're going to get 360. You get a pretty good amount of down, a little bit of up, and a little bit of attitude. So, not bad as far as that goes. Arms, you can bring them out. Whoop. Not untap them. You can bring them out to about that far. You can rotate them up about that far. And back about that far. This hinge... On the wheel is going to prevent it from going any further, but not that you really need it to do that. Uh, as far as the rest of his arm articulation, he does have an elbow swivel and elbow 290 degrees. No wrist rotation. You'll get 360 of waist rotation. You have some movement here with his upper torso if you want to use that, but that's mostly for beefing him up, if you will. Uh, these little flaps move forward, little hip skirts or front skirts, whatever you want to call them. They move a little bit. Legs are just on a standard T-ball joint, so all the way out to there. He can kick forward and backward about that, yeah, actually, yeah, about that far. Um, you get thigh rotation sort of right here at this joint, so that works. Knees are going to go right to 90. Uh, you can move his kneecaps up and down on the slider if you want to. That's mostly for transformation, but that's a thing you can do. Toe is going to go all the way down just due to transformation, but there is a rocker in here that you can move around and get a little bit of movement as far as that goes. So not the greatest in regards to posability, but I think it does everything you need it to do. So, let's start looking at these accessories. He comes with these two guns. You can attach them together if you like, or you can have him dual wielding. And they're just done in the same metallic gunmetal paint. Nicely sculpted, look good. You saw him holding it earlier, so I'm not gonna waste time with that. Here's his other weapon. It's a really big sort of claymore greatsword type weapon. 
And as you saw, you can remove that to help him hold it better and we'll place it back on, as is the case with a lot of Iron Factory's big weapons like this. But if you don't like the sword, you also have the option of using it as a big battle axe, which is pretty cool. So nice options as far as that goes. And I love this translucent blue plastic on it. So looks good. Now, let's get into the rest of his accessories, because he's got a lot of armor options here. So, here are his leg armors, and you want to bring this down on this if you haven't already, and looks good, more paint, not bad. What you want to do with this is use this port. And this tab on the side that I just tabbed in place, well, actually, first you want to fold his toes down. So let's go ahead and do that, like so. And then just tab that in on either side. And we are new boot goofing. So there you go, as far as that goes. I guess I could, whoa. Too far on his knees. Is that popped loose? I don't think so. It's acting very strange. Whatever. Whatever. Um, we can come here and you also get this crotch piece. And it's just going to slot over the crotch he already has. <laughs> There you go. He's going to come with these hands. Some yellow paint on them. Otherwise, just in cast white plastic. And how this works is you're going to open this panel and you can see that peg. He's just going to hold his hands. Hold his own hands. And then you can close the back panel up. And there you go with those. You'll get a couple of shoulder pads with a little bit of gray paint on them. And you're going to use this piece right here. And just tab into the back of his shoulders like so. Now, finally, he's going to come with this piece, his alternate head. And... Really nice head sculpt here for this. Love it. Uh, lots of more silver and yellow paint on him. And nice blue eyes. So with this piece, what you're going to do is just kind of pull, lift up his upper chest there a little bit. And it's just going to slot. Uh, well, first of all, let me put his other head up. So you want to pull his head forward a little bit on this hinge. And that way you can really kind of get it down into this cavity flush like that all right now we can do this and you're just going to pop that into place and nova's coming along very well we've got one more big old piece and that is his wings on his backpack decked out in the same gunmetal metallic paint looks really good got lots of nice little translucent plastic same as he has on his legs there and very nice and the way that's going to work is this hole right here is going to just peg in there and you've got nova all done now you can articulate these how you like there's also articulation here if you want to fold them partially for transformation, but you can do that. And yeah, this uh, this guy's definitely got some presence for a Legends class figure because of these wings. Looking very cool. So, 
that's about all there is to say about him in this mode. Uh, I think it looks great. Um, I am a big fan of just this decked out Nova mode. Very awesome. So, um, I'll bring in some size comparisons for this body size. Since presumably if you have him in robot mode, if you have this figure, this is the mode you're going to have him in, not just the core bot mode. So let me get a few of those. So just for a couple of other legend scale primes, here he is with Magic Square, Optimus Prime, and Hasbro Core Class Prime. And I'd be remiss not to compare him with our boy Runabout from Iron Factory as well. So here's that and random Hot Soldier Sound Blaster since I just had him handy. So more scale. Here's Nova with two of his purple Dead Universe henchmen, Galvatron and Cyclonus, also from Iron Factory. And finally, with his two blue henchmen from the Dead Universe, Iron Factory Scourge and New Age Straxus. So let's get Nova into alt mode. You're going to start here and bring this piece forward again to help you get his head into this chest cavity here. Well... I say that and I do it totally wrong. There we go. Like that. All right. You know, come here to his arms. Or take them back like that. All right. Come back here. We can pull this piece up on this hinge. Just to get it out of the way for the moment. And you can go ahead and bring the cockpit up on this hinge. So then you're going to rotate this whole assembly down like that. And you can compress that internal joint there down. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let's do his legs. So bring his knee pads down, fold his toes in. And you can see here you've got hinges inside of his legs. Just combine rewards, compress them in there. Tabs. So just tab his legs together make sure his joints are pretty straight and we're going to rotate this 180 you can bring this piece down now and it just rests there and you're going to come to his arms and untab right there inside the wheels here and these are you see these are the weird wheels where the outside is fake and the inside is an actual working wheel and you want to rotate it like this and you can see there's a peg there that you're going to want to stick in here so rotate that and bring his arms up like so yep and just finagle it till you can tab it in like that so just repeat that And straighten him up. And there you go. There's Nova in his truck mode. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. It is fairly faithful to some of the comic designs. So, looks good as far as that goes. But not really a whole lot else to say about it. It's a weird Cybertronian sort of truck. Uh, it does kind of roll okay. Not bad. And yeah, I mean, you've seen everything else already in this mode, so let's start building this trailer. So what I like to do to start with is just go ahead and get his boots, and they are going to untab there, rotate them forward, and you want to tab them right there. Now, unfortunately, there's no other tabs on these parts, but once the other pieces are in place, it will secure these together. So, got that done. Now, we'll come here to the big part, and what you want to do is 
rotate this up, rotate this up, rotate these. Which way does this bend? Okay, that goes that way. So rotate these this way. And you want to bring the wings down around like this. Like so. So you want something that looks like this. Now you're going to take his fists and you can see where they tab together. And this sits, where does this, oh, it's hats on the top, that's right. So as you can see there, just want to tab that in up there. Now we can come to his shoulder pads and you're going to want to tab this into here. So just make sure you've got it turned and you want to leave this part on the bottom. So the painted part that is. So just bring it in like that. All right, we're getting there. We'll go ahead and take his crotch piece and it's just going to slot in right here on the front. Uh, is that the way it goes? Yeah, pretty sure it's, yeah, that's the only way it can go. All right. Now we're gonna take his headpiece here and you're gonna rotate his head down inside here and you want his guns so just untab them and you'll see there's a little part right there to tab it into i don't think it matters which one goes on which side but you want this so now from here you're going to Take this and there's, where's the tab for this? There's a tab on, there it is. So on this lowermost part, you've got a little tab right there and it's going to go onto the guns to hold this piece in place. May have them backwards. Or perhaps the easier thing to do might be this. I'm sorry, guys. Now let's do this instead. Can't even see it. Now we'll tab this piece onto the guns and there we go. So this is what you want it to basically look like. So now you're going to come and you're going to take these two. Maybe that might help if I got on camera. And they're going to go sit right here. And there you go. Nova in his big old combat trailer. I'll make sure he's nice and cleaned up, and we'll take a quick look at him and do some comparisons. And yeah, here's Nova in his fully armed trailer mode, and I do like it. Uh, definitely better than just the little truck cab by himself. Um, all of this really comes out here as well, along with, you know, the wings, obviously, in his robot mode. But yeah, looking good, in my opinion. Uh, pretty faithful to the source material from the comics so 
yeah, looking good. Not a whole lot else to say about it. Still rolls. And yeah, it's a nice beefy Cybertronian truck. So, we'll do some size comparisons real quick and wrap it up. And here's your usual car comparisons. Magic Square, New Age, Iron Factory, Hasbro, Legends Class, and a Mattel Hot Wheels diecast car. And he's definitely got some heft compared to these, as he should. So, not bad, not bad. Final thoughts on Iron Factory's Steel Lucifer, a.k.a. Nova Prime. Obviously, I really like this figure. I can't really think of anything seriously negative to say about it. Uh, no QC issues on mine. It all works really well. I like this Optimus Prime mold. Unfortunately, it's the only version I have. But I like how all the extras uh, work in regards to his trailer mode and obviously in his beefed up robot mode here. So I think it all works pretty well, in my opinion. Um, if you're looking for any of these Iron Factory Optimus molds, all I can tell you is good luck because Iron Factory just absolutely refuses to reissue anything. They're happy to let scalpers pocket all that extra money that they could be making. So... If you're looking for any of them, all I can say is good luck. Um, if you're a fan of the old IDW comics like I am, though, Nova Prime's kind of a must-have for your collection. Uh, he really was a really interesting villain. And the only other version I'm aware of is Mastermind Creations version, which is obviously much larger and obviously even more expensive than this one would be. And I believe it's just as hard to find as this one is now. So if you're look, even looking for that one, then good luck with that one as well. But if you can find this figure, it's definitely a recommendation from me. So I hope you all enjoyed the review. That's going to do it. Have a happy new year. Onwards and upwards to better things.